Oh, and just a quick fact before we start this video, 84.6% of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel. So if you could drop a subscribe before we start, then that would be really appreciated. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to yet again another video. Um, this one is going to be on degree apprenticeships also as well. Um, so at work, where I work, we took part in a Q&A about degree apprenticeships. Um, myself and two other colleagues took part in this. So what I've done is I've taken the clips that I got on these quick fire Q&A questions, merged it all into one. So if you are out there asking for more information or looking for more information on degree apprenticeships, be sure to check out this video. Um, please drop a, a like and subscribe to the channel down below. But this video will contain um, multiple different questions, all on different topics to do with degree apprenticeships and uh, and it will be nice quick fire questions back so be sure to let me know if you like this style of video and uh, i'll be more than happy to do one again enjoy the question here um do i find working from home full-time boring um i think it's very situational for the person and their circumstances i actually don't um i do find it's difficult to miss in the social interaction you know face not have seen people face to face is very hard, um, but I travel quite far to and from the office um, an hour each way. So I do enjoy that side of things um, and it is a much better work life balance um, to be able to work from home uh, a little bit as well. Sessions now are at home with university, so all sessions are conducted at the moment online. The lecturers all do it over Zoom, splitting you into breakout groups as well via Zoom, which is really good and you get to still interact with the rest of the group you do work with. Good question here from a fellow apprentice of First Response. Um, I think the biggest challenge with me would be developing the portfolio for the endpoint assessment, um, especially while we're working from home at the moment. It is harder to find those opportunities. Uh, it is harder to find those opportunities to develop your portfolio of skills. Um, but even though it is harder, there are plenty of opportunities here at First Response Finance um, to help you give you opportunities. There's lots of different things that you can be getting involved with. What's uni like? Obviously, it's very different to usually because we can have that social in the class interaction, which we can't at home. Um, it is still really good. The support is there, if not more, with the online resources from the university. And like I said earlier, like I said earlier, we do still have those Zoom calls with all the lecturers that sort of split out into breakout rooms. And that does give you the opportunity still to interact with other people that are on the course. Really good question. So I could take probably the whole rest of the afternoon talking about the benefits. But um, for me, it's the ability to be able to apply the experience into the workplace. Um, so I knew leaving college that I didn't want to just go straight to university. So I didn't want to just go straight to university. I wanted to be able to apply it in a workplace. Um, and I think obviously here at First Response, it gives you a lot of opportunities to apply what you're learning. Um, and it really that helps to cement the knowledge into your brain. What aspect do I find most rewarding? I think I answered this on my last question. Um, so again, the, just the ability to be able to apply my knowledge within the workplace. Um, but if I didn't answer it and you've got any more thoughts or questions, then uh, be sure to fire them in. Apprenticeship highlights so far. I think this would be going to university. Um, I think it's a really good different opportunity to meet new different people. Our course is very varied with different people on it from different cultures um, and workplaces. So that's the highlight. That's a highlight to be able to see different people, meet different people, different workplaces and understand it, things from different perspectives. Top three tips I would be to, uh, wow, there's a few I give, but um, understand the job role, make sure it's for you, make sure you can deal with the timescales, etc. Get some work experience, try and understand if it really is for you, you know, in a... Uh, in a proper environment and the third tip would be to make sure you research the company so if you are applying for apprenticeships make sure you're interested in the course in the company the modules and it is something that interests you i think with opportunities it's all up to you to make the right movements to try and obviously push yourself into the good opportunities that arise um, there are lots of different projects going on at first response that apprentices are allowed to get involved with that helps you helps you develop your knowledge in uh, in very different areas. I think the key to effectively balancing it is just good time management skills. You've got to be able to prior planning. Um, I think a good saying is proper prior planning prevents poor performance. So six Ps. Um, if you're able 
you're able to plan understand that monday you know i'm going to try and get this done with uni um obviously the full-time job takes its toll